Hi there, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing great. And in this video, I'm going to be making an Easter wreath. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So to make an Easter wreath, I'm going to be using this thing. I bought it actually like a year ago. These things are really cheap. Um, it's like a seven euros. And I'm going to be using some cardboard to make a details on it. I don't have a specific plan as usual for this project, but I think there are going to be two dog characters as a biggest piece of the reef. And then I'm going to add some flowers and also some eggs um, because it's Easter. Here is my rough sketch of how the reef is going to look like. And here is also my Pinterest board of like a little inspiration. I tried to pick some interesting ideas and colorful things and I hope I'm gonna be making something in a similar fashion. First thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this part and make it a little bit thicker with my tin foil and this tape because I will add a lot of details here and this part is a little bit too thin for me to just stick the cardboard onto it. This is how the base looks like now. I'm ready to cut some pieces from cardboard now that I'm gonna stick onto this. So the first step is gonna be, I'm gonna draw around this reef to kind of roughly estimate its size. And then I'm gonna draw the designs of the cardboard pieces that I'm gonna stick on top of it. So the sun is gonna be roughly here. And then the door goes So I got some eyes and some noses for my dogs and for my son. I know <laughs> this looks a little bit crazy, but who doesn't in the spring? So now I'm gonna use my hot glue gun, which I really hate to use because I always touch the hot glue with my hands. I'm gonna use it to attach these details to my dogs and to my son. Now I'm gonna cut some egg shapes from this cardboard and try to maybe put some of them here because they are gonna be behind the dogs and I wanna put dogs after. A few moments later. So here all my eggs are cut. Now I'm gonna attach them to the ref. I think also I'm gonna attach this sun because nothing is going to go <laughs> underneath it. And I'm gonna cover these tin foil pieces with the washi tape so it's easier for me to paint later if I decide to leave it like this.
Hi, so this is where I'm at with my reef at the moment. I attached the sun, the dogs and the eggs. This is how it looks like. I also added this little piece of wire here so I can hold it and kind of understand where it's going to be when I hand it on my door. Uh, now I'm going to do little flowers. I'm using this kitchen paper roll and also some toilet paper rolls, cardboards, because these are a little bit thinner and nicer than the cardboard that I used for the dogs and the eggs. And I'm going to create little flowers from this. Um, they are going to look like something like this, or I'm going to maybe do multiple different shapes and attach it all over the reef. Hi, so uh, this is how my reef looks like now. I added all the flowers all over it and I added a little bit over the dogs so I can hide their bottoms. I might add something extra tomorrow, but now I'm gonna paint it all white and then leave it overnight to dry. So this is how my reef looks like now. It's all nice and white and I covered everything with a couple layers of paint. So it's easier for me tomorrow to cover it with the design. It's going to dry overnight and I'm going to continue tomorrow. But that's it for today. Hi, so it's the next day and I'm continuing with my reef. It's all nice and dry and I'm ready to paint it. I'm going to start with some picking some base colors and hopefully they look nice. And then I'm going to continue with the, some with design and let's see how far I get today because it's already quite late. Maybe I'll continue tomorrow. So this is done for today. I did the main design, so main colors are done. This looks nice and creepy now. <laughs> uh, I think I'm still gonna touch it up with a marker. Uh, not today though, I'm gonna let this dry and there are gonna be two steps left. I need to touch this up with a marker and then I'm gonna cover it with the gloss. I, I'm always very nervous <laughs> to start the paint job because I think the paint job can ruin everything. But I think this turned out um, good and looks very fun. Hi there. Uh, so it's been a couple of days, a couple of miserable days uh, outside. It doesn't seem like spring at all. No, 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 um, no. I didn't have any time to work on my reef, but I'm, I have a little bit of time today. Um, I did a little surgery on my dog, <laughs> uh, so I removed uh, its eyes and its nose and I'm planning to paint it um, later because I didn't like the previous version. I also plan to do little touch-ups all over the flowers, maybe add some little things just to make it look interesting. So I'm all done with my reef. This is how it looks like. Um, I added some details and also covered it with the clear shiny gloss. 
I think it looks really cool. <laughs> I really like it. I think this project was super fun. It wasn't very hard to do. It took, took me just a couple of days and you don't need anything like special to make it. I encourage you to do it if you need a little bit of courage. Just do it. <laughs> uh, I also highly recommend covering this with the gloss if you are gonna make it because my reef is gonna hang outside. Uh, I do have like a cover um, on my front porch but it still might get some a little bit wet and some rain but I hope it will survive until at least next season and if it doesn't then we can make another one. <laughs> Uh, our last step is just to hang it on the front porch, but it's quite late already, so I'm not gonna do it today. Um, but I'll show you how it looks like. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Stay inspired and see you soon.